Right, first things first, let's fix my favourite knocking stick. I was banging away and its head fell off. So I've got to knock that out of there and try and redo it. My poor Anna. Everyone has a favourite knocking stick. Unfortunately, my, my one's head fell off. So this is what I'm going to start with because I need my, uh, my, my knocking stick. My favourite one. So I'll get on with that and then I'm going to get on with some of the inner bulk. So yeah, that's what I'm planning today. Um, everything's coming together nicely. It's been a while since I've done a little bit on this car on Courtney. Obviously I'm having to wait till I get paid and get some more supplies. So I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> I'll be back with you shortly. Right. <clears throat> I'm just vacuuming in here so I can get a start on all of this. And I'm going to start sanding, uh, by wheeling, brush treating. A little tiny bottle of brush treatment just cost me flipping nearly nine quid for a tiny little container. Mad. So... This is where I'm starting to work. I've re I've put a piece of wood under there and jacked this bit of floor up with my jack and a piece of wood so I like step in and out of it without falling through the rest of the floor and bending it. So I'm getting in and out and it supports the car temporarily. But I'm on all of this horrible stuff now. All of this. So I'm working within. I mean, I will keep popping back to the front now and again to do a few bits and bobs. But this is where I'm mainly focusing now. It's in the middle of, almost to the middle of the vehicle. Work my way back. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be back with you soon. So I'm vacuuming them that bits up. Right, I started cleaning it. Ah, it's all clean. I'm just gonna put some more welds on there. I've got to sort that all out down there. There's a little bit of rust there I've got to sort out. I've got to finish cleaning that. Wild a few little things there. Take all that seam sealer off. So I'll put new stuff on once I've prepared that. But otherwise, over there is looking really good. We have done all that repair. Um, and over there, it's got all the proper shapes. Obviously I've got to do a bit more grinding. But I'll do that when I finish the welding. So I'll do it all in one go. Finish down there where that red primer is. Now I'll get to it properly. Uh, I've just spent the last half hour, hour trying to sort my welder out again. Motors decided to plow up again. So that's held me back. I was hoping to have got most of this done. Yeah, one of the things I'll have to keep messing with it, getting it going, and then get another one. It's not even if it's the same welder, just so I can get on with stuff. Nothing worse than being held back. The got my mini grinder. Once I've cleaned all in there, that'll be pretty much done. I think a few little repair jobs. I'll double check it all. Weld what needs welding, seam seal, primer it, and then I'm going to get some nice black paint and paint all in there. So once that's done, I suppose the next job after that is to move slowly this way, get this floor done. So I'll get back to you when I've started uh, sorting that out. But it looks so good, I've even started tapping it in so it gets all the patterns of the ribs. That hopefully eventually won't even look like it was ever there. That's the support beam that I've uh, support plate that I put in to make it a bit thicker around that area where I've rebuilt it. So get in there. I'll uh, see you when I've done a bit more. Oh, I'll just own a quick break. I've been sat on my leg down there welding to the point where my leg went that dead I nearly fell out the Cortina 
my, my leg didn't want to work. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing so far. All that welding all across there. Oh, I think there's going to be... Let's carry on on that top part and I'll do the bottom part possibly tomorrow. I don't want to rush it. To get all that top section done and seam sealed. Uh, put some primer on it until I can double check all over it and go around it. But it's looking pretty good. Just waiting for my leg to come back. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how far I got. Done over there, working my way across. Start cleaning all of this. Uh, I think when I was in there, I may have gone through that with the welder, with the grinder a little bit, so I can weld that up. With the grinder, yeah. Speaker under there, it's probably, um, oh yeah, rotten. My finger just went straight through it. So, yeah, I'll be back with you when I've uh, done some more. I've got about an hour left today before I have to uh, pack up and go and do some, well, fetching my daughter and stuff. I might come back out after, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, back soon. Some more work done. Oh, it's getting all clean now. Slowly working my way up, grinding it. Uh, straightening the metal a little bit. So, finished cleaning all up there. So, I've got to about there so far. Whew. My leg's dead again. Um, I've straightened that out a little bit, ready to weld to that bit of floor. Yeah, slowly getting there. Bit more welding on there, bit more grinding. Do that section. Do up there, because I've cleaned up there, ready to repair that hole. Uh, seam seal all the way across. Primer it. And then I'll start working down this section. I'll be back with you when I've done more. Right, I'm done for today. It's getting a bit late, I can't really use my grinder at this time. That's what I've done so far. I've uh, used some crust rust converter, which was expensive. To if I get out tomorrow, I've been welding under there. I've got a little bit in that corner to do. All up there is virtually done. I've got that hole there to do. Um, there, and a few little bits around the steer where the steering column goes. Uh, steering rack, no. Column, sorry. Little hole up there to repair. Tiny one. But now that's been put on. That's the reinforcement bracket. There. So, that's what I've been doing today. Can't wait to get that finished and painted. And then I can start working my way down but obviously I need the floor pan first I'm f I was thinking that once I've done those holes in there once I've done that section across there I will then start looking at putting the chassis rail in without removing that floor so I'm gonna have to undo all the spot welds put the chassis rail underneath somewhere and jack it up in place without disturbing any of that it's going to be a mission and I'll see if I've got any bits of metal anywhere I can brace it up with but yeah that's what I've done so far camera doesn't do it justice but it looks really nice it's that uh, rust treatment the crust stuff goes into like a purpley it's basically ready to paint over. Don't need to wash it off or nothing. 
Is it something like a built in primer or something? So that section of the bulkhead is done. No more needs to do into that bit. No more needs to do into that bit there. That is done. So that section of the bulkhead finished. At the moment I'm just working a little bit at the bottom there. So I can close that chapter. <laughs> um let's get in there. The reason my primer's gone a funny colour there is because obviously as I've been welding and stuff over time, it's been splatting into it and burning, burning the primer. So yeah, I'm really happy with today's work. Looking really good under there now. It's a tiny little hole in that. In that corner there. Once I've got all of that structurally, you know, all done, then obviously I can work on my way down on the floor pans and do some work in these pillars here. There's not much that needs doing to them. It's the insides I'm worried about. That's going to be tricky. But I'm getting there slowly. Whew. Um, I think the floor pans are like £219 each. I was debating whether to make my own floor pans. But I'd rather have um, ready-made ones. I think it'll make it simpler. Even though I do like a challenge. It's just that I think it's the right thing to do. Is just put some brand new whole pieces in. I think I've saved enough of the car to make it so there's not too much of it gone. Um, what else is there? I think that's pretty much it. I noticed on eBay you can buy the jacking point thing there, but they're like, I think it was, was it like 80, 90 quid? But they look homemade. And I'm thinking I probably, probably could do that myself. But I can't see myself ever using them jacking points anyway. No way. There's no way like this car's going to be factory. But it's going to be a driver, so that's all that matters. Considering where I was when I first got it, it was all daunting. <laughs> but I feel like I've come a long way. engine bay is looking really good I'll give you a quick look at the front and then I'm uh, packing up and going in that's the front looking really good in the corners all the way across got to fix a little bit of rust there on the vent part but other than that it's looking really good That's today's work, and I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see any more. Bye-bye. <laughs>